Hello everyone, this is Asika from the IoTProjects.com and today we are going to make ESP8266 based smart kitchen monitoring and automation system using ESP DAS library. The kitchen is an important part of the home for many families. Safety factors are the fundamental aspect that must be considered during the activity in the kitchen. The existence of gas leakage, uncontrolled fire, extreme temperature, and inhospitable environments will be identified and addressed as soon as possible. In addition, kitchen appliances such as lights, refrigerators, ovens, etc. need to be monitored and controlled remotely. The main objective of this project is to build the prototype of ESP8266 based smart kitchen monitoring and automation system using a web server. The system uses multiple sensors, relays, and non MCU ESP8266 boards. We can monitor all sensor data graphically on the web dashboard. We can also send commands to control kitchen appliances from the web server. The IoT Smart Kitchen does the following tasks. Monitor the kitchen temperature and humidity using DS2 double to sensor on the web dashboard. Monitor the air quality index using MQ135 gas sensor on the web dashboard. Displays the kitchen temperature, humidity and gas level on 0.96 inch OLED display. The exhaust fan interface to delay photons on and the alarm activates once gas level exits. Detects the presence or absence of a portion in the kitchen using a PIR motion sensor. Sends alarm status, exhaust fan status, and human detection status to the web server. Users can turn on or off room lights, fridge, oven, etc. remotely using buttons on a web dashboard. We need the following electronics components to make the ESP8266 based smart kitchen project. We will need a DS2 temperature and humidity sensor to measure room humidity and temperature. This is an EMQ-135 gas sensor which helps to measure the gas leakage in the kitchen. We have a PIR sensor that detects the presence or absence of humans in the kitchen. We are using a simple 5 volt buzzer for alarm when the gas level exits. Then, we have a 0.96 inch OLED display for displaying room temperature, humidity and air quality index. Finally, we have a 4 channel relay module to control the home appliances like lights, fridge, oven, heater, etc. Whereas, Relay 4 is connected to an exhaust fan which turns on and off according to the gas level threshold value. The heart and brain of this project is a known MCU ESP8266 board, but you can use any of the ESP8266 12E based boards. Since I am configuring the ESP8266 Wi Fi chip in soft AP mode, so you don't need Wi Fi or internet separately to monitor and control your appliances. The ESP8266 boards broadcast the IoT Smart Kitchen SSID, so you need to connect to the Wi Fi network using the password defined in the code. It establishes a connection with the Node MCU ESP8266 board, and you can monitor those sensor values and control appliances remotely from the web server. Here is a simple design using freezing software. Use the following schematic as a reference and assemble the circuit on a breadboard. Connect the OLED display, SD and SCL pins to node MCU, D2 and D1 pin. Similarly, connect the DSD, 11 MQ135 and PIR sensor output pin to the D4, A0 and D3 pin of node MCU. For the alarm system, you can connect the 5V active buzzer to the G0 pin. For controlling the home appliances, you can use a 4-channel relay module. So, using the jumper wires, connect the 4 channel relay input pin to the D5, D6, D7, and D8 of known MCU ESP8266 boards. MQ135 sensor, PIR sensor, and relay needs 5 volt power supply. So, connect VCC and GND pins to 5 volt and GND pins respectively. Similarly, DST22 and OLED display VCC are connected to 3.3 volt pins of known MCU. To remove messy wiring and give a clean look, I designed a PCB prototype for this project. It is also helpful for troubleshooting without any errors. I prefer PCB Way for ordering custom PCBs. PCB Way is a place that brings manufacturer and customers together. They have more than a decade of experience in this field of fabrication and prototyping and assembling of PCBs. PCB Way have proved their focus to their customers' need in terms of cost effectiveness, delivery, and quality. This can be proved by their outstanding customer reviews. To order this PCB from PCB Way, go to the Instant Queue tab. Then click on Quick Order PCB. Now click to an Add Garver file. You can download this Garver file from the website link provided in the description. 
After operating a gutter file, you can choose layers, thickness, solder max, and assembly service if required. Now, select your country location, then select your preferred shipping method. Finally, you can submit the order and within a week, you can get a high quality PCV. The source code for IESP8006 based smart kitchen automation and monitoring system with the web dashboard is provided below. But before going for the code part, we need to add the following libraries to the Arduino IDE. You can download these libraries from the link provided below and install them from Arduino IDE Library Manager. The main part of this web dashboard is the ESP Dash Library. It is a C library for creating functional and real time dashboards for ESP8006 and ESP32 microcontrollers. This makes it easier for you to use the function and allows you to create an accessible dashboard to your model's IP address. After adding all these libraries, the code will compile easily. You can change the Wi Fi SSID and password if you need through this code. You can find the explanation of this program code on our website link provided in the description. This is the complete code for the project. Paste this code on the Arduino IDE, then select the node MCU ESP8006 board from the board manager and also select the COM port and upload the code. After uploading the code, the node MCU ESP8006 board broadcast Wi-Fi network, IoT Smart Kitchen. Connect your mobile or laptop to this network using the password defined in the code. After a successful connection, open the following IP address on your preferred web browser. The ESP dashboard will load successfully now. You can monitor sensor data and control appliances through this beautiful web dashboard. Meanwhile, you can open the serial monitor as well. The serial monitor will display the humidity temperature, air quality index, alarm status, home detection, etc. On the other hand, the OLED display will display the temperature, humidity, and gas level of the kitchen. The web server will get new data asynchronously in every 1500 milliseconds from node MCU. The temperature, humidity, and air quality index data are displayed graphically. It will also show whether the browser is on or off as well as the presence of humans inside the room or not. Relay food that connects to the exhaust fan automatically activates when the gas level reaches the threshold value. I set the threshold value to 450 ppm. You can set it to any desired value. You can send the command from the web dashboard to turn on and off the kitchen appliances like fridge, oven, and lights. This is how you can design your own ESP8266 node MCU based smart kitchen using ESP Dash with automation and monitoring system on our web server.